Bernard Spey was quite a clever engineer and he would build equipment to um, a new project and the new project was reverberation and um, gimmicks. Gimmicks were very much in in the 70s and he would build this piece of equipment which Pink Floyd used and we've been looking for it ever since. I was a holder of the equipment. When the valve equipment went out and the transistor came in, I would put away some of the old valve stuff because it was interesting to me and it was locked away and we were searching through that because whatever Bernard built was valve orientated but we never got any further with that. There were several other um, names for inventions. Um, azimuth was, I think the Beatles used that, just go off azimuth gives you this lovely effect and you swing in and out and you can do it by hand with your hand on the uh, record head altering it, the azimuth. But um, I, Bernard built a machine that would do that automatically and you could vary the amount of in and out of phase. It wouldn't go completely out, but it would go um, almost out, and that gave that effect. Well, every day is a joy working here. I, I call it my hobby, really. Paul McCartney comes in, gives me a cuddle. That's nice. Um, he pops in quite a bit because it's his old, old hunting ground. The, the thing I enjoy most, a lot of visitors come uh, are very keen to see the microphones and I like showing off the microphones to people.